We've heard a lot today about red tape and the fear that there will be more red tape after Brexit compared to the uh, diminishing of red tape that was promised by some during the referendum campaign. I think there is some truth to that. For SMEs who uh, may have just been dealing with um, suppliers and customers in the EU, uh, then undoubtedly uh, on uh, any sort of Brexit, really not just a hard Brexit, they are likely to see uh, some uh, increased need for form thinning uh, to apply for various um, uh, authorizations and, and a different status uh, and uh, to uh, re-engage with new agencies uh, who are required after Brexit to, um, uh, to look after them. Even if we go into transition, in March, there is still the case of what happens during that transition period and where the UK ends up in relation to the EU and the rest of the world on 31st of December 2020. So we will take a, a, a deep breath if a withdrawal agreement is concluded and it passes the European Parliament and the Houses of Parliament, uh, but uh, that does not leave business with very long, it only gives business two years to prepare for the unknown, which may be a glorious, ambitious new free trade agreement with the EU or it may be something that falls significantly short.